So if you ever dropped your tablet and you need to turn, and there's no cracks in the screen because you had the case on, and then you turn it on, but nothing works. The touch screen doesn't work. It doesn't respond to any touches. There's a couple ways to fix that. I'm going to show you right now. Hi, this is Tampa Tech. So I'm going to show you a couple ways to fix uh, a touch screen that is not responding to your touches. So here's the first way. So if it doesn't work like this, then I'm going to show you the second way. So you want to hold down the power button and the home button at the same time. And you want to hold it down until it resets. And hold it down, keep on holding it down, and then you'll see it reset. There it goes. Once you see that apple, then release. This is a software reset, and if you have any kind of glitches in the software, that would have fixed that problem. But if you dropped it, most likely something got um, disconnected inside the um, iPad. So most likely the problem is going to be inside the iPad. I'm going to show you how to fix that as well. All right, so as you can see, the software reset didn't fix this issue because you know we dropped it. We did something physical to the iPad. So I'm going to show you an easy way to fix this iPad. This works for almost any tablet, actually, or even sometimes a phone. All right, so what you want to do is get a flathead screwdriver like this one, and then you want to wedge it right here where the plastic frame and the metal cover, back cover, is and you want to do not put it where the glass and the plastic bezel is so it's going to look like that right there so you want it right there and then you want to wedge it open right there don't go where the buttons are so if you see a button anywhere or a volume rocker don't put your, um, your flathead screwdriver where that is. You want to, there's a tab here right next to it and you want to put it between each tab. Just like that. If a couple of tabs fall off, don't worry. And also don't put your flathead screwdriver where the home button is. It'll damage the home button. So now once you open it up, you want to go on this side, opposite side of the volume rocker. So here's the volume rocker right here. On this side, you want to lift it up and then there is the touch screen cable, the digitizer. So if you see the volume rocker right here, on the opposite side of the volume rocker, is the touchscreen digitizer cable, which is uh, right here, just fell out. But it might not have fallen out completely on yours. What you want to do is go ahead and stick your thumbnail under it and then unlatch those latches, lift them up with your thumbnail, and you can pull the whole thing out just like that. Then you want to reseat it and make sure you have it in flush evenly. If it's crooked, then it's not going to work right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. Just slide it under right there and push this side all the way in. And then do the same thing for the other side. Okay, once it's pushed in all the way and looks pretty even, you want to push down the latch behind it and just, you hear it click. Alright, once you're done with that, you want to push it all back together. like that, turn it on, and voila. So that's how you do it. Let me know what you think. If this video helped you out, give me a thumbs up and that helps me out. 
If you know anyone that this video may help, go ahead and click the share button below and share it to Facebook or G+, or even your tech blog. And subscribe to Tampa Tech for more tech review reviews like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.